Beta has quite the industrious lot in its engineering department. The 2015 430-480 model saw a whole plethora of improvements, to include completely reworked engines and heads, lighter weight and better handling. In the competitive world of trail and race bikes, if you lift, you lose, and Beta shows no sign of easing up anytime soon. The 2016 430RR and 480RR roll out with a host of new improvements to include fuel injection, a lighter chassis and more. This series of bikes is meant not only for the track, but also for the casual trail and technical competition. It wears many hats, but is a bit milder than, say, a supercross capable bike would be, and the suspension isn't quite up to the big jumps. This isn't a problem though, because its agility and power delivery make it more suitable for technical work and motocross slash enduro competition. Let's take a look at what's new for 2016, shall we? As with all MX type bikes, function drives the form, and these betas are no exception. Nearly straight upper lines leave plenty of room to shift your weight in maneuvers, but I would be remiss if I didn't mention the seat the hard, hard seat. Word on the street has it the seat is one of the hardest around, even stiffer than KTM's Duke seats. Granted, you won't be making any long distance treks on this kind of bike, but the seat will certainly encourage you to stand up a lot trial bike style. Another thing riders comment on immediately is the long bike feeling they get on these rides. It handles long as well, but while this keeps the bikes from being extremely agile, it also makes it stable on the straights and confident in the corners. Bottom line, it's not a mountain goat for trials or a super cross machine, but it does fill the vast niche between. A double cradle frame supports the engine on molybdenum steel frame members with a polyamide plastic skid plate to protect the engine and frame bottom, and the layout leaves us with 12.6 inches of ground clearance and a 36.8 inch seat height. The 26.5 degree rake and 23 mm offset pushes the wheelbase out to 58.7 inches on 48 mm Saks USD forks. A longer guide spring, better top out spring and larger bleed hole improve top and bottom out behavior, plus they come with compression and rebound adjustments for a variety of conditions. The rear end gets a Saks, aluminum body, coilover mono shock that comes with high and low speed compression damping as well as the customary rebound damping. Suspension components at both ends deliver a plush, 11.4 inches of travel, which should be enough for most non-supercross activities. Hydraulic calipers bind the 260mm front and 240mm rear, wave cut rotors. Wheel sizes at the upper end of the range with a 21-inch front, and 18-inch rear tire, capped with Michelin Enduro competition knobbies that struggle a bit on rocky surfaces, but grip well in the sand and soft pack. Now for the difference between the two bikes, the engines. While they both run with one lung, four-stroke, liquid-cooled mills, the 430 clocks in with 431 cubic centimeters, and the 480 displaces 477.5 cubic centimeters. Both run with electronic fuel injection, DCCDI ignitions, and electric starters with kickstarters as a backup. Both plants are over square, short stroke engines. The 480 runs with a 100mm bore and a 60.8mm stroke, versus the 430 that uses the same stroke and the same crank, I reckon but with a 95mm bore and higher compression at 12.33 to 1 over the 480 at 12.1 to 1. Both plants aspirate through 4 valve heads, with a 42mm throttle body to control the air fuel mixture and throttle. Likewise, they share a common 6 speed transmixer, wet clutch, and chain drive. So far, feedback on this year's Beta 430 480 engine has been mostly positive. Riders report plenty of power with a smooth, manageable delivery that strikes a balance between power and controllability. On a slightly sour note, the crisp throttle response in both directions is a little off-putting, and it makes really technical work more difficult than it needs to be. 
On the plus side, your dealer can program the bike with one of two different engine braking profiles for a bit more flexibility to accommodate different end uses. Since both bikes run identical rolling chassis, and only 46.5 cubic centimeters to separate the engines, it should come as no surprise that the stickers are near identical twins. The 430 rolls out at $9,399, while the 480 goes for only a bill more at $9,499. Both come with a 6-month, limited warranty, which is about mid-range for off-road bikes.